When you log into Remo, you'll first see your event dashboard, where you can find all your created events. To start creating an event, just click on the Create Event button up here on the top. This is where you can select your event privacy. A public event means anyone can register, whereas a private event means only those you invite or add to the guest list of this event can register and join. This is also where you can enter all the basic details about your event, like your event name, event timings, and an event image. It'll also ask you to select a floor plan for your event. A floor plan is like the venue for your virtual event. On Remo, we've got over 30 pre-made floor plans for you to select from, with different styles and for different use cases. These are the best ways to fully immerse your guests in your event's environment and to capture their attention. One of the best things about Remo is that if you have a very unique vision for your event space or you want a fully branded event space, you can also create and upload your own custom floor plans. Just drop the SVG of your custom floor plan here and it'll run it through a quick validation check to make sure that the layers are all named correctly for your floor plan to function properly within your event space. Here are just some examples of our host's past, past custom floor plans inside an event for some inspiration. So with the custom floor plan, the sky really is the limit in terms of creativity. You can recreate iconic physical spaces like your office building for a corporate event, or create generic spaces to host your event in, like a beach or a park. With custom floor plans, your event really stands out as a memorable occasion for guests, and not to mention, it's incredibly shareable as well. Back in our event settings. Once you've selected your floor plan, you then enter in the number of attendees you're expecting for your event. This will help determine the number of floors your event space will have. Once you've got the basic details of your event set up, you can go ahead and publish your event. Now to further customize your event, you can go in and edit to access all the additional functionality that Remo has to offer, like assigned seating, customizable registration forms, and clickable content banners. To edit your event, just find it within your dashboard and click the pencil icon here. One of the best features to customize your event further with is ticketing. Remo's got a built-in, low-cost ticketing solution, so you can manage your event entry and even boost revenue. It's available for all, but there is a one-time setup process involved just to let us know information like your preferred currency and Stripe details. But after that, you're free to create tickets for all your events. Just click on Add Ticket. Here you'll enter ticket details like the name and the ticket quantity. Remo supports both free and paid tickets, so you can also choose which type you'd like to offer. And for a paid ticket, we've also got an easy way for you to see a breakdown of the revenue you can expect per ticket after entering the price. If you want to add further information, you can do so in the ticket description here. Save your ticket, and that's it! For better management, you can easily see the status of your tickets, whether it's actively selling, inactive, or sold out. You can also create multiple ticket types per event to offer your attendees varying experiences or event goodies. The tickets you create here will be available for attendees to get when they register for your event on Remo's registration page. In the Invitations tab, you'll be able to invite speakers and guests to your event. This is also where you can manage your guest list to view the status of a user's registration and eventually their attendance. Under Advanced, we've got even more ways to further customize your event. For example, setting up the information for your event registration page, adding customized registration questions to collect key information from your attendees, or even set up clickable content banners to display event information or highlight your event sponsors. You can also find your post-event analytics in your event settings as well. So after the event, you can get all the data you need to measure and showcase your event success such as your attendee list, recordings, and even export engagement-specific data like your polls and Q&A. With all your event settings completed, let's move into the actual event space to see the in-event Remo experience. To enter your event, you can either click Copy Event URL and open this in a new tab, or you can just click the event card from your dashboard. Before entering a Remo event, we'll run a quick system check for you. This page lets you test your mic and cam, set up a virtual background, and test your device's compatibility with Remo. Once the system check is complete, just press Join Event. When you enter a Remo space, you'll be dropped onto a virtual table and shown as a circle or avatar. This is what we call conversation mode. This is where the magic of authentic networking on Remo happens. How is that? Well, each virtual table functions as a private audio-video conversation or a mini breakout room. Attendees can turn on their mic and cam by clicking here and talking to the other people at the virtual table, just like if they were sat next to each other at a physical event.
but unlike at a physical event, attendees at other tables can't overhear any conversations. In a Remo space, you've got multiple tables, meaning multiple group conversations can happen at once. No one likes being chained to a seat or forced into a group conversation. I mean, no one really makes genuine connections under pressure. So on Remo, attendees are free to move about the event space however they please. They can jump between conversations by just double-clicking onto the table they want to move to. But don't worry, as a host, you still have the ability to lock tables if there's a private conversation that you don't want interrupted. You can also customize table names so attendees know what's happening on each of the tables. Oh, and if guests are a little shy to move around, hosts can also initiate an attendee shuffle, which automatically shuffles everyone around the space onto different tables so they can meet even more new people. But what else makes Remo's networking so great? In a Remo space, you can have multiple types of conversations happening at once, from large discussion groups of up to 24 participants to small serendipitous hallway conversations with just two people. So as the event organizer, you can decide what types of conversations and how big those conversations should be when you're selecting your floor plan. Besides just speaking to others on your table, attendees can also share their screen Remo offers multiple simultaneous screen shares, so no more of that can you please stop your screen share business? Attendees can also collaborate on their table's whiteboard, which is perfect for group brainstorming. Now it's difficult to network with people if you don't know who they are, so at Remo, each attendee is given a virtual business card or their profile to fill out prior to joining. Users can view each other's business cards by clicking on their avatar. If knowing who other attendees isn't really the issue, but rather finding them in a full event space, you can also use our participants list here to locate where other users are within the event space. So that was our conversation mode, where guests can move around and talk to each other in smaller groups. But how can a host present to everyone in the space at once? That's where Remo's presentation mode comes into play. Hosts can easily transition between the two modes by clicking the present button on the bottom toolbar here. They can choose how they want to start their presentation. A seamless, automatic transition from authentic networking to interactive presentations. So here's presentation mode. This mode is kind of like a webinar mode, where a host or speaker can come up onto the virtual stage and speak to all attendees at once. It's perfect for sessions like a keynote presentation or a panel discussion. But Remo's presentation mode is not a typical one-way presentation. There's a bunch of interactive tools at a host's disposal to transform the standard presentation into an engaging two-way conversation. Hosts or speakers can easily join the virtual stage by turning their camera and microphone on, as mine currently is. Remo supports up to 50 presenters on stage at once, depending on which AppSumo plan you go for. Now, typically only hosts and speakers have the freedom to join and leave the presentation stage, but Remo is all about interaction and engagement, and it's not very engaging just watching a presentation happen. So on Remo, hosts have the power to invite guests to join the stage. This is perfect for many use cases, including hosting inclusive Q&A sessions. So instead of just typing in your questions, guests can actually come up on stage and ask them live. When a guest is done, hosts can simply remove them from the stage so they're placed back in the audience as so. But that's not all. With Remo's presentation mode, speakers no longer have to feel like they're presenting to an empty void. With Remo's Remoji reactions, speakers can see real-time feedback like applause, agreement, and even confusion. If that's still not enough, we've also got immersive sound effects to really bring your presentations to life. You can choose any of the four sound effects, applause, laughter, celebration, or a drum roll. Click it and the sound effect will play for everyone in the event. <laughs> Don't worry, Remo's also got the more traditional interactive tools for presentations, like the Q&A, where guests can type in questions and upvote the ones they like. Hosts can also set up polls to collect more attendee insights. These can be fun polls for attendee engagement or informative ones for your event. On Remo, we also support quizzes to test your audience's understanding of a given concept. The only difference between a quiz and a poll is to remember to select a right answer for a quiz and set a countdown for how long your quiz will be active for. And when you're finished with presenting, you can easily return you and your attendees to conversation mode by clicking back to floor. And there you have it, a demo of the Remo platform.